Now, Mr. Nice Guy, we think and hope, it's James Whale and the radio show. Now, um, I need your help. What is the difference between a crab and a lobster? What I mean is, which one walks sideways, a crab or a lobster? It's a crab. It's a crab. Okay, I've got lobsters. <laughs> I've been rehearsing that all evening and you didn't... Stevie, even you didn't laugh. It's about time some of you laughed. I thought it was a joke. Tonight we're talking about humour. What makes you laugh, what doesn't make you laugh. Stupid impressions. And you can... Ri Why am I getting an awful lot of... of uh... Do you mind, Miller? Will you wrap up for a few moments, please? We're on the air here. I'm sorry, we're going we're to find Mr Miller's doing his act at the moment out there and I seem to have it plugged through here, but... What sort of jokes do you like to see on TV? You can ring us now. Here's the number, OK? 0532 46 1000. Pick up the phone. Give us a call now. We'll be uh, seeing the immortalised Charlie Chuck a little bit later on. We've got some live music and all sorts of humour, so stay tuned. And as good as the ones you'd find in those rather smelly, it's, dirty arcade places. Well, yeah, so, the point is you've got, arcade, yeah. you've got arcade quality graphics that you can play at home. Yeah. I see. You know, oh, I think I've just been knackered there, haven't I? You haven't really got that. Okay. Hand, it, 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 it takes a lot of, doesn't it? The problem is, I noticed some of the people hanging around here before the program all playing with it. It's, it's a little addictive. Is it addictive, do you think? Well, Go on, it, smack it him. could. Yeah, I mean, on, quite possibly be addictive, yeah. but the point is that yeah. you, you're playing it in the oh. uh, comfort of your own home, so you have ultimately yeah. the yeah. control over it. You have parental control over yeah. it. Yeah. You're not I'm, very good at all. I'm you? not very good at that, really. I, I didn't have a misspent youth. You see, that's the that's the thing. You, you've obviously, Simon. You've obviously been rehearsing this quite a lot, haven't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's this here? This is it's got a, a pig in here, is it? Or what? It's a fat cow. It's so a fat cow. Know. I yeah. see. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not saying a thing. What is this up here? This is. Um, uh, it's a flying pig. A flying pig. Nice. Yes. Yes. That's all tasteful stuff. And a little later, hopefully, we're going to have Michael Jackson on the show. Aren't Michael we? Jackson is coming in. Yeah. yeah okay. As we speak, he's That's on good. his way. Okay. Right. Well, listen, Simon. You go off and get yourself a cup of coffee. Right. And uh, we'll play more with this a little bit later on. And it's. Uh, 180 pounds or so, isn't it? It's quite nice, really. Anyway, uh, we'll... What? Good evening. Oh, Linda, hi. hi. Hello. Hello. I it's, just yes. wondered if you'd birthday, seen Linda. this... It's your birthday, Linda. It's my birthday. It's Linda's birthday. My birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Cry, cry. Make it look good. Birthday, dear Linda. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Now, come on, make it like Silla Black, surprise, surprise, burst into tears, Linda. <laughs> oh, that's so touching, isn't it? And the audience are going to cry as well. It was well. singing, actually. Okay. Um, did you read the paper? I don't read the week? paper. Which one? Um, oh, the one that most of those rather, rather fat, ugly lager lads take here. into the toilet and read. Yes, I know. Are you sure yeah? I should open Yeah, this? yeah, go on, go on. What have you been up to? What, what have, have I been doing? I've been doing pants. Oh, my goodness me. Take it out. This is one come too. It's, well, we don't know. Get it out. We, uh, this one came from um, Falkirk, from Bill Strong. And... <laughs> Do you want the Latin name? Penis erectus. Yeah. It's a flowering cacti. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yes, OK. Put it in your mouth and blow. Go on. <laughs> I can't. It's doing Stevie an awful lot of good, look. <laughs> yes, yeah. And I normally you, have this trouble. You, you take it. He also it says, somewhere. please, can you inform Gordon? Yes. Gordon? Who's Gordon? He's, he's a producer, but we don't worry oh, about Gordon, him. Oh, Gordon, yes, yeah, Gordon. Really sorry. Yes. Please You've inform Gordon, Gordon that I have a set of live material ready to try out. <laughs> yeah, OK, well, look. We'll talk about that later. Uh, Linda, you, you go and practice in there, and I'll talk to you a little later. Uh, oh, take, take the, the rubbish. Do you want the, the plants? I don't want the box, I want the plant. You want you. the plant? OK. Right, thank I'm you very much. I'm a girl. I might not see you later. Yeah. <laughs> Please, no smut. That's the sort of thing you expect on Wogan, not on this show. Uh, Alistair from West Lothian. Hello, Alistair. Yeah, OK. And secondly, how yeah. many Irishmen does it take to change a light bulb? Uh, three or four. No, a hundred. A hundred? Yes. Why? One, one to change a light bulb and 99 to turn the house round. <laughs> 99 to turn the house round. Yeah, can I yeah. get a pack of condoms? You can. We'll send you a packet for that. Thank you, uh, Alistair. Richard from Lincoln. Hello, Richard. Uh, James, how are you? I'm very well, Richard. How are you? Fine, thank you very much indeed. Okay. Happy birthday to Linda. Uh, happy birthday to... All right, happy birthday to Linda. She's playing with her plant at the moment. Oh, like thank you very much. She's watering it. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yes, OK, we're right. Uh, Richard, off you go. What do you call a cow from the North Pole? What do you what? Stupid name, Richard. <laughs> 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 Richard, what's your name? I said, what, what do you want, six? He said, Dad, there's a man at the door with a ball there. I said, well, tell him I've got one. You doze in the <laughs> He said to his mother, he said, Mum, when I got older, I want to be shot into space. He said, if your father had done what he was told, you would have been. <laughs> <laughs> I was, uh... Ladies and gentlemen, Mick Miller! Hello! <laughs> Mick! Oh, yeah, James. Very well, Mick. Humour, you've been a comic for, well, obviously judging uh, by the head quite 20, some time. 20 years. 20 years. 20 years? 20 years now, 20 yes. years, my God. I started yeah. off bald and look at me now. Yes, yes, and a very <laughs> fine head. And I, I suggested you keep this on, didn't I, really? Well, that's it, yes. You Tur normally let it all down, don't you? Yes, yeah. curtains. Curtains. Yes, but you, I think, I think it'll be good news for sort of alternative comedy like this. Well, that's it. If it's yeah. funny, it's funny. Yeah. Is there any difference between new comedy? I mean, all these sort of comedy stores and places like that that have started up. I don't think, think so. I don't think so. We've got youngsters here. Yeah. I can make them laugh. You can make them laugh? Yes, yes. How do you make them laugh? <laughs> I can do an impression from that on, fabulous then. film. Yeah. Remember the film with uh, David Bowie in? Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence? Yeah. An impression. Yeah. Mr. Lawrence, Merry Christmas. <laughs> You made them laugh. <laughs> let's see. Let's see if the let's see if the audience can make you laugh. Correct. Let's see if the audience make you laugh. See if the audience can make you laugh. <laughs> Just look at them. They're pretty funny, aren't they? <laughs> this one down here that I thought looked like Johnny Bart Simpson. Yes. Yeah. 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 They make you laugh. Yeah. yeah. Over here we've got the prime minister, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. John, <laughs> John Major. And, and, uh, and this one over here is just a jerk, obviously. Look, he can make you laugh as well. And there was somebody over... Where's, where, where, John McCarrick from uh, Channel 4 Racing over here, John. <laughs> who, who, uh, who, uh, who's a bit of a comedian? We've got, we've got, did you want to tell a joke? Certainly not. Yes, I, bet you, I, bet you've got, I bet you've got some good humour. Give, give us a gag. Yeah, go give on, give us a gag. Yeah, OK, right. <laughs> That's excellent, yeah. <laughs> That's very good. Your timing is yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Mime yeah. act. Mime act. Yeah. Give us a gag. Go on. Give us a gag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, one, one, more, one, more over, one more over here. No. Do you do anything? No. Okay, shove off out of the way. Right, come here. Go on. There we are. There. Big moment. Right. Stand up straight. Yeah, well, I don't know which... Yeah, okay. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Go on, off you go. Right, there's a couple of hours having an audience, please. The woman said, large or small? He said, large. <laughs> she did that again, she gave, that bit. she gave him a box of 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we'll have some more humour later. Thank you very much indeed. Give yourselves a nice round of applause. <laughs> right, a little music now. This is a great video. I don't know if you've seen it before. It's from Halloween and kids. Of the century. Love it. Heavy metal, you and I. that um, when they asked me who was the nicest person that he, he was, because in a sense, you know, that's exactly what people don't expect and they don't yeah. like to hear that. Um, Come on, tell me more. Tell me more. You see, I've, I've looked through the book. I've got a little bit marked out here. You say laughter is said to be just one step away from crying. Yes. No, but yes. You think it is? Move from more. Let's, so, so you're born. You're born crying. Mm. When you're born, your mother, someone, the doctor slaps your ass. And, and everybody um, laughed. You see, they laugh at that. They got the idea of somebody slapping you. And you cry. You actually start with a cry. Yeah. But you, people don't start laughing until they're three or four months old. And that's at the stage when your eyes open and suddenly you see your mother for the first time. Mm. And that is the primal laugh. Can you analyse uh, comedy like this? I mean, you, well, you have done. You've looked through different yeah. comedy. You've analysed it in this book as a, a humorologist. Is it tricky, you mean? No, I, I wonder if it, it sort of messes you up for actually going and having a good laugh because you're looking at a comedian and thinking, well, he's doing it because of this reason. But you'll it? find, yeah, that's a strange thing, but you'll find that humorists, that comedians actually do spend a lot of time analysing what they do. Mm. So I thought it only fair to do it in that. But that book, the book, when you read it, it's actually, f when the comedians are being serious, that it can be funny that, that way. If, when they're being funny, you can see it seriously. 
obviously. So it's a sort of a strange cocktail. I mean, mm. someone like Emo is mm. completely, he, he's never off. We're going to talk to Emo a little later, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. yeah. Timing is all important, isn't it? Mm. Do you think time is important? It certainly is for this yeah, show. Yeah, Let's take a break. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. James Whale. The James Whale Radio Show. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I quite like this. I, well, so I'm saying, there are no problems, really, except that when you sweat, and these guys will be sweating, but, of course, their hair mops it up. Their well, hair mops it up. These guys. So, well, you, you're, actually, you've joined the club, haven't you? I've David Renwick, ladies and happen. gentlemen. David Renwick, we're very lucky to have David on the show tonight because Renwick. he's one of the top... Renwick? Renwick. I said that to the... I said Renwick. I said it was a whale said, or Renwick. Wally. <laughs> I, I liked you, actually. You know, I'm going right off you. You know, I'm going right off you. That was my you. best gag. David is, uh, David is actually a scriptwriter who's written for all sorts of programmes, including, uh, including <laughs> the two Ronnies. Looks at his crib. In, in, including the two Ronnies. <laughs> you did 45 of those chair sets, didn't you, for... Uh, Ronnie Corbett. Yeah, I sitting did, in the yes, chair. Yes, I, had the and I used to think he just sat there and made it up himself. Really, yes. <laughs> well, that's, uh, I think that's a, a tribute to the... To his reading of the auto cue, really. Uh, <laughs> um, no, I mean he was no, he was great yeah. to great yeah. to write for Ronnie, and, uh, and a lot of it is his his character, which I, I don't think has maybe been touched on. Yeah, I mean I that's why I've moved off really from um, from writing for, for mm. variety shows and comedians because I think in the end I think what makes you laugh most is the character of the of the person that's actually relaying it to you. I mean Mickey's a great example. <laughs> Mickey is a funny guy. I stole. Um, can I just? Yes, you were, you were telling me earlier that you just. One of them things where Ronnie used to do in the chair. Only and one. I thought it was hilarious. He's so, now going to die. No, this I, might, out here. I might not put well, it over as well, me. but he did one gag and he said, I've got a very unusual pet, a tin of salmon. <laughs> now that's yes, my that, type of... It wasn't my gag. I'm very, I'm very relieved. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was actually, um, uh, they held an unusual pets contest, mm. knowing to a shortage of entries, one fellow won it with a tin of salmon. Was it was it. the actual verbatim, but it, well, it was Spike Mullins wrote that anyway, so I... This, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed, because people, people like Mick, uh, you, you pay people quite often to write your jokes, or you make a few up yourself, but basically yeah. you rely on other people to, to feed you the material. Yes, yes. And, and here's David who does that for all sorts of people. I mean, it's not just the two Ronnies. You've, you've done stuff for alternative comedians, well, whatever find, they are. And, and I think you'd find David would have to go and see it, the yeah. artist and get into his style first, wouldn't you? I would if I had any inclination to write for comedians. <laughs> yes, I would. Um, but in, in, uh, in the days when I used to do that, certainly mm. it's absolutely... I mean, you should gear it to the person that you're writing for. I mean, you're writing at the moment Poirot, which is one of the best, I think, TV the shows at the moment. I'm very it has a very dry sense of humour. Yes, uh, it's it's a good uh, um, transitional point, I think. For, for I mean, if you want to get into to drama from comedy, I mean, because mm. there is a there is a strong comic element in that. Um, in addition to all of the the mystery and the thriller. Um, Are you yourself a, a frustrated performer? Would you rather have been doing the stuff I'm yourself? A frustrated or? writer. <laughs> Um, no, no, I did, David, I think, you know, too much I did, false I had, is not I, good on this had, show, all right? I had, uh, I did about two or three years of, of, uh, of sporadic performing before I realised I was completely... <laughs> she went to say, Gary, because she knew me, you know. She went to say, Gary, I've waited that long for a bus, my ass has got... I shut her up, she said, can I buy you a drink? She said, I'll have a large brandy and baby sham, I guess. I said, guess again. <laughs> she said, why don't you come up to my bedroom, there's a mirror on the ceiling. I said, well, it's no good to me, I don't shave in bed. <laughs> She's going to do some of her favourite impressions for you now. <laughs> no, Placido Domingo, pissed out of his head. <laughs> this fellow's in bed with this girl, her husband comes home from work. And the fellow's on the bed like that. Oh, husband said, hey! He said, what the bloody hell's going on here, like? The fellow said, I'm from the council. He said, what do you mean you're from the council? He said, I'm the official moth catcher. He said, he got no clothes on. He said, bastards. 
<laughs> I go to the playground all the time to watch the little kids jump up and down and scream because they don't know I'm using blanks. <laughs> A sort of complete uh, diversity of, hu of, hu of humour. Oh, you got the phone? Yes, Linda. I've got the calls and I've still have got you? my digital. Have you? Well, how, how are you doing? Oh, look, that's good. Yeah, how are you? Do you want a quick blow for us? See how, you, how you've improved. Let's, there we are. Let's go on. No, I can't. Oh, OK, OK. Well, we'll do it later. We'll do it later. I, I, see, not big got, enough breaths. You've not got big enough breath. OK. Don't be crude, please. I'm trying to sort of, you know... Well, you mean I'm serious? I can't blow that. Well, go and get someone to help you. Warm it up a little bit. Uh, emo. Yeah. Emo Phillips. We've got Emo on. Hello, Emo. Hello, James. How are you, Emo? I can only hear you. You can only hear... What did the girl talk about just now? I beg your pardon, Emo. Huh? Well, where where are blowing? you? What was she blowing there? She, uh, did you... Ovation last night. I think it counts if people are putting their coats on during it. <laughs> <laughs> I did an epilepsy banquet. You had them rolling in the aisle. You know what? What? This cold weather plays havoc with my car. It does? It, it does. I called the mechanic. I said, my car starts, but it doesn't move. He said, check the trans. So I said to my brother, take off your dress and help me with this thing. <laughs> I called this other mechanic. I said, I was going down a steep hill. Yeah. And I went to slam on the brakes and they didn't work. He said, it sounds like you lost a lot of fluid. I said, who wouldn't? <laughs> Anyway. Emo, listen, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> yes. well, thank Lovely. you for paying for this. I was okay, Emo. I think we're still on the air, aren't we? Uh, thanks a lot. Bye, Emo. That was Emo Phillips, ladies and gentlemen. And actually, Emo appears in your book, John. Mm -hmm. You interviewed him, yes. which in itself is a feat, really, when I think about it. Mm, he was, he's the only one in the book who is completely humorous all the way through. He uh -huh. didn't click out of it. He do, I mean, when you talk to him, he is still that character that he portrays. Mm, t about the eighth time I spoke to him, he... He, his voice goes normal. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay, that's Stevie the cameraman. He talks to himself a lot when we're working like that. It's very, very strange. He's happy, he's just moved he out of his... Way. I do, yes, 95% yeah. of the time. Okay, well, listen, I've got a little treat for, for all of you here. I want to know what a humorologist thinks of my next guest, and uh, I want to know whether you'd ever fancy writing for something <laughs> like this. I've had uh, quite a lot of letters, as usual, to the programme about my next guest. This one comes from Michelle Sullivan from Burley and Wharfdale, and she says, Jolly, jolly jook is something else. She says, why can't he have more time on TV? I don't know. I think he should as well. Also, where can we see him live? I don't know that live is actually a, a, a way I talk about Charlie. I mean, he's not, not really of this planet, but we've managed to get him out of the asylum for tonight. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the rather strange talents of Mr. Charlie Chuck. <laughs> If it's not, <laughs> you've no to worry about. <laughs> if it's serious, you've two things to worry about. <laughs> whether you're gonna live or whether you're gonna die. If you're gonna live, <laughs> you've no to worry about. <laughs> If you're gonna die, you've still two things to worry about. That's whether you're gonna go to heaven or whether you're gonna go to hell. If you're gonna go to heaven, it should know <laughs> In the pockets at all. Cup or turned upside down on the table. Eh? <laughs> and on top of cup, put ball. I'm placing this ball in my pocket, said Edie, with a secretive smile. But she didn't. <laughs> she hadn't. It weren't there at all. It were under cup. <laughs> 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 
bleeding tell you that. Yes, bleeding, get out. It's between me and Edie, this. <laughs> no to do with you. <laughs> bleeding, get out, you bleeding to get them. Bleeding, get out. Are you, are you right, Charlie? Are you all right? Not to do with you. Can, so can somebody look after? I'm sorry, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Charlie, um, Charlie Chuck, thank you very much indeed. And uh, we, we are starting a fan club for him, and he does appear. He's appearing at the crematorium next week, actually. And uh, should we? Are you all right? This is Stevie, by the way. What? I don't know. What are we doing now? Sit down and take I was a call. I'll take a call. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, OK. Well, we'll take a call. I was, I was actually going to go and do the, uh, the mail, but no, we're not no, there no, yet, no, are we? Breakfast. Yeah, OK. I, I, was, I was get so sort of carried away with Charlie, you see. It's quite funny. Uh, call. Bloody lucky, I should think. Thank you very much indeed. Paul Lee from... Oh, sorry, Paul. We'll go back, Paul. What was it? What was it, Paul? He's gone. He's gone. It sounds he's like gone. he's gone. They couldn't, they couldn't keep... Yeah, OK, OK. Right. Uh, Lee, hello. Hello, James. From Grantham? Yeah. OK, Lee. Um, what the, what's the difference between a lepo and a hard-boiled egg? What's the difference between... Is, hang on, just a minute. Mick, is this sick or not? Yeah, I think so. Get it off. You wouldn't have this on? No, no. Do you know the answer to this? Yes, but... What I is it? Well, well, I couldn't You wouldn't tell it, it on television? I tell it, no. I'll put it on. No. Yeah? What is the difference between a lepo and a hard-boiled egg? I'm not telling it. It's not my style. No, OK. OK. Lee? You can't dip your toast in a hard-boiled egg. I didn't hear that. I was bloody lucky, wasn't it? Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Lee. Uh, should we take a break? I think we'll take a break. Don't go away. We'll get the, a few more. And Mick, do you want to borrow my pen to write them down? Yes. OK, yeah, right. Take it? a break. Oh, OK, yeah. here we go. <laughs> Start from the competition. Should we do the, the competition first or the mail first? What do you fancy? Mail. The mail first. OK, all right, we'll do the mail first. I can't believe that people live in this state, can you? It's absolutely like home. Yes? <laughs> oh, no. talking about Linda at home, I'm glad you said that, because you don't know, but Mick Miller, who you know quite well, I believe, yes. don't tell the husband. Very well. It. Actually, Mick yeah. and I are doing summer season in Blackpool at Maggie Mays. Yeah, OK, right. 24th of May, tickets available. Mick actually and gave Julia me this... Johnson in the band. Have you finished? Um, no, no. Okay, right. Mick actually gave me this photograph of you tossing in your kitchen. Tossing? And, yeah, look, can we get a, a shot of that? I don't know. If you, uh, I, we haven't told anybody about that. There's you with a pancake. You see that? Oh, my God, I am as well. Thank God, yeah. a different top. Okay, right. Now, uh, last week we Not got... Not a bad tosser. Not a bad tosser at all. Could I get on with this? A serious bit. Last <laughs> week we did a programme on uh, dyslexia. We had a terrific, uh, terrific... Uh, could you get me a 239 while you're there? Okay. <laughs> Terrific response. Thank you very much indeed. The people who phoned the British Dyslexia Association, and there were hundreds of them, keep on because they had a tape and that ran out. And they will also get back to the ones who, who rang in as soon as they can. But if you'd like more help, call them. And uh, the, the number to ring will get in touch with us. We'll give you their address. So thank you for the facts to Charlie. Uh, David Rudge from Solly Hull wrote in and he said a very good point was made on the programme about job applications. I think it's possible I'd be working as other than a lorry driver if I could only spell the words I like to write down. Oh. And um, that's, isn't it, right? John Rushworth from Colchester says, the collective refusal of various local authorities to send a representative to appear on your show makes one wonder what it is they are afraid of. Dyslexia, a problem that hopefully through the programme a little way will be solved. That was a really good programme, actually. That's for sweet of you. It Hang was. On. I'm not just wanna... saying that because... No, it's yes, you are, idea. actually. Uh, we asked the question last week, can you spell dyslexia? A lot of people wrote in. Some said yes and some said no. Uh, Victoria Sinclair's little lingerie shop in Nairsbury in North Yorkshire gave us these. Yeah. You watch this bit. Okay. Here we go. Hold on. It's nice. I'm enjoying it so far. Talk about yourself. All there we go. into the jukebox. Wow. Bosh. Here we yeah. go. Oh. Now, whilst you're playing this, I'll talk uh -huh. to you. Okay. You concentrate. Yeah. But Michael Jackson actually helped develop this, didn't he? Put it down on a postcard or a sealed envelope and send it to this address. Wales Mail, care of Yorkshire Television, Leeds LS31JS. 
and it's the same address as well if uh, you want to write into the program you've got some ideas for the show and those of you who like to complain don't we do you like to complain mm, you like to complain time. yeah yeah if you like to complain what was sort of mark from essex paul from manchester lee from grantham Nigel from, where on earth do these calls come from? Nigel from North Hants, or Nottingham or somewhere. Nigel, hello. Hello, James. Yeah, where are you from, Nigel? Bolton. Bolton. In Manchester. <laughs> I gotta talk to you after this, Linda. I was... No, no, never mind, Linda. Yes, Nigel, I go on. I was told, after yep. the band, after the band, bring on the phone calls. It's Nigel from Manchester. What can you do? <laughs> you didn't have this trouble when I was running the show. Could we, could we actually get a collection for someone to send in the... F You've actually, uh, John, you've got a, a quote in your book from Jerry, haven't you? Well, quite a lot. The uh, chapter on him. Well, let's not read the whole chapter, but one quote <laughs> would be one quote would be good. Well, I'm I'm non-sexist and all that. It's just women that I hate. Then I asked him. No, who, uh, could you read about your... Mr. Sanovich? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, no, sorry, oh, right. Right. oh sorry, right. sorry, yes, I thought, yeah, yeah. I hate women. Coffee's as well. good anyway. Who's your favourite philosopher? <laughs> Schopenhauer. It's one of the greatest moments in life when you come across someone who feels the same way as you. I quote. The most effective consolation in every misfortune, every affliction, is to observe others who are more unfortunate than we. And everyone can do this, but what does this say of the condition of the whole? Well, yeah, what, what sort of condition is the whole in? I mean, Indeed. You, you've got I'm to laugh there, haven't you? Is that the card you're thinking of? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? That? No, so a lot of, no, a lot of comedians are magicians, start off yeah. magicians, and you, people start um, being magicians at about eight when they start yeah. masturbating, apparently, and Jerry... Jerry's comedy evolved out of that. A lot of Steve Martin, yeah. magic. We've got Steve Martin on the show somewhere. Could, could you bring, uh, could someone just bring Steve mm -hmm. Martin over? He, he's been very quiet, but bring him over. 
do you, do you think... Let me, let me ask David this. Do you think that, that that sort of humour, could you write for that kind of thing? Would you want to do that oh, or not? I personally couldn't. I, I mean, what I've seen of you, etc., so I find very funny. Um, but, I mean, I think that it kind of has to come from the gut, really. I mean, it is yeah. very individual, yeah. and I, I mean, it's horses, of course. Because you, you, you wrote for Spike Milligan. I'm afraid I did. Yeah. <laughs> and Kenny Everett. And Alexi Sale. And Alexi Sale. Sort of unlike, but, um... I'll turn the lads. So, I mean, you like, went where? I went out to the Gulf and entertained the lads. What do they do to deserve that? <laughs> Well, that's it. It's, if, if, if you're a golfer out there, it's, it's a big bunker, I can tell you. It's, uh, <laughs> I went out there and I walked on, you know, travelled this thousand miles with my helmet and my gas mask, and I walked on the first shot. I said, I'm a schizophrenic, and this guy shouted, well, why don't you both get off? <laughs> you sure that wasn't Kate Aidy? And Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, you know, they had a pantomime this year. It was uh, Ali Barber and the 40 fellas with one hand. Because <laughs> they cut the hand off. They cut the, the hands off, you see. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I just didn't right, think okay. you'd get that. No, 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 no. Start no, the car. Cool, so okay, can we, yeah, we'll be ready in a few moments. Can we just... What, you've got some more presents? Yeah, look. What's this one? Something else to blow. Oh, yeah, that's nice, a balloon. It makes a noise, though, when oh, you yeah. blow it up, but yeah. then it says happy birthday to you. You can play that later. And yeah. rubber gloves. Now, rubber gloves, very useful. Mm. Yeah, actually, I mean, a lot of... For my didgeridoo. Did you do? Yeah. <laughs> it does my didgeridoo, it does. I want does you it? playing that in the summer. Look, um, in the summer. Where are you that? in the summer, Mick? Um, Central Pier. Maggie Mays. <laughs> very good. Put you those on. Somebody you said you have that. to... Uh, Sing down at us. Are you ever going? No, you actually. Oh, I don't on. know. You, edit, you don't happen to know. Round of the world My mother's a Welshman. That's very good, David. Yes. Do you think you could I'll write some stuff for me? Yes. 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 I'll stop. Ask him the answer. Hey, go like to say the I, right, go on. Uh, the rest. I was going to say that anyway. Yeah, well, why did you say it? Because it's I'm sorry about that, Nigel. Jokes. She's ruined it. For you. The worst people to tell a joke to are comedians are they? because they never laugh. I wasn't aware you were a comedian. No, I'm saying. Oh, sorry. Yes, I, I beg your pardon. I've got a nice one about the World Cup. Have you? Yes. You know uh, Jim Layton, the Scottish that goalkeeper. Hurt. Good. Yes. Him and Michael Jackson have got a lot in common. They both wear gloves for no apparent reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's three plugs. Did I, did I, I should get more do money. I, do I believe that you're at Maggie Mays this summer? Well, you okay. might if you came to see me. Nicola, we got to go. Say bye-bye. Nicola? Bye. Can you, can you ring back next week, Nicola? Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. Thanks, bye. bye. Have a nice bye. weekend. Thank you to everybody. We're back Ooh. next Friday night. In the meantime, uh, we're going to have a party, shall we? Yes, but happy okay. birthday. I mean, hello, right. Bobby. And okay. happy birthday to Mick. Yeah, okay, come on then. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll go and have a, a party. Talk Let's to the audience party. over here. Can everybody okay. blow this? There is. Uh, how long have we got to go? What about. Uh, anybody got a joke? This lady over here has got a chubby brown joke. Can you get it in before before the end of the show? A chubby brown joke. Go on, come on. Quickly. Quickly, do it quick. Hang on, just, just, just one minute. Are you ready? Are, are you ready? Okay, just look into the camera and I'll cue it when you start the Sorry. chubby brown joke, all right? Don't right. do anything until I tell you. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Right, this fellow's walking around the back of the... <laughs> I knew what was coming there. It was actually quite appropriate they're talking about comedy tonight. Of course, just two weeks away, it is Red Nose Day, Nose Day. Now you just gonna watch. You'll love it. Sunday night on ITV, the hilarious Phil Cool in Cool Head. Shadow gig. The mega chat line. Shadow gig. Call anytime. Oh wait.